Scholars have said that 1st Timothy, 2nd Timothy and Titus were not written by Paul. They were written by someone else who used the, the name Paul to give it authority. And whether they did or not, was it still not the word inspired? Well, see, see, the thing is, if you're quoting something from an unknown author who's actually, according to biblical scholars, has if lied. You, if I show you the beginning, uh -huh. it's fine, it's fine that biblical scholars have said it, but if I show you the beginning... One, one more point, one more point, one more point. I'll let you. Paul, the, the letters of Paul, the 13 letters of Paul, even if we consider them to be authentic, Paul was written before, you know the letters of Paul were written before the Gospels. According to what source? Uh, biblical scholars. I mean, you, what it is, everything we can, if you want you can double check. But I, 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 I have no doubt about it. This is what Christians say, this is what biblical scholars say. The letters of Paul were written before the Gospels. Okay. They were written before the other epistles, the other letters, and they were written before the Book of Revelation. So, so the point is, so, even if even the Book of Acts, yes. So the Book of Acts, so they were, they weren't scribes writing it whilst they were going around. Uh -huh. and, but according to the Book of Acts, it was supposed to be seen saved in the ninth chapter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they so they they say. They can't be, no, 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 no. The, so that can't be that he wrote it before. But the book of Acts, according to uh, Christians. You may, ha you may have to show me these. No problem, no problem, no problem. Let, let me just come to my point. According to Christians, the book of Acts was written by the same author who wrote the Gospel of Luke. Okay. And they say it's Luke, the traveling companion of Paul. But the letters of Paul were written before all the other books of the New Testament. So the point being, even if you use this verse and you say that Paul wrote this verse, when he's talking about scripture here, he's talking about the Old Testament. He's not talking about the Gospels, the four Gospels. He's not talking about the book of Revelations. So um, when, the whole, when the Bible says in John 14 yeah. that the Holy Spirit will remind you of the uh -huh. things I've taught you, yeah. um, is that not an inspiration to write all the um, teachings? Just a question. I don't agree. You don't agree, but is that not what is that not what it says? Yeah, it, it can. I mean, any book can say anything, but that, we we need we need to establish who is the author and did the author have authority? So, um, were the letters of Paul written? Because what happens is, I mean, you probably have experience of talking to some Muslims. Sometimes uh, you will quote a verse from the Bible and then the Muslim will quote another verse from the Bible and you'll have a backwards and forwards. You say it means this, the Muslim will say it doesn't mean that. But my point is, I don't see the book has authority. Um, 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 what if Muhammad... Okay, this is, this is the Pauline epistles. Uh, the website is the Church of Christ. Okay. This is the first thing that came up. Paul's letters were written sometimes between AD 48 to AD 64. Yeah. They almost certainly predate the Gospels and the Acts. So, so, and so are the earliest existing writings we have concerning Jesus, okay. teachings. So, if we take um, 2 Timothy verse three, uh, sorry, chapter 3, 16, on face value, it's not talking about the Gospels, and it's not talking about the book of Revelation. It's talking about the scripture, which uh, Paul, uh, Paul would have had, which would have been the Old Testament. So therefore, you can't use this verse to say the book of Revelation is divine. So you can't say, so do you believe that when Paul is saying all scripture, yeah. all scripture, the ones that have been and ones that will come, do you believe that that could be a possibility? If, if we take that as a possibility, biblical scholars say no, because he's talking about us. Uh, Which biblical he's scholars talking, are where? You, have to, you can't, you can't I, just I, make I, a claim I, like that. Okay. It's quite difficult. No, no problem, no problem. It's quite difficult. But um, you can't just say biblical scholars, because I know biblical scholars may disagree. But because some the, may the, agree. Pro the problem is, if you take all scripture and you leave it open, yes. past and present, then we can say all of the apocrypha, which the Roman Catholic accept, which the Eastern Orthodox accept, uh, the Ethiopian Church, you know, they accept the Book of Enoch, etc., etc. You can include that. But the Protestant church will say, no, this is not included in scripture. If you're going to say all scripture, we can include the Quran. Which can you? 
I mean, if if you're go, if you're going to use the word all scripture, it's God breathed, yeah. God inspired. Yeah, yeah. If you're going, but if you don't believe that, no, you don't believe that. The same but the thing is, if you're going to say all scripture and leave it um, open. open, yeah, then we can put anything. We can put the Book of Mormons. Obviously, we don't, you don't accept it. I don't accept it. But. So the biblical scholars, I mean, you can look at it, but they say it's referring to the Old Testament. So my point, I mean, obviously I'm a Muslim. My point is the, the religion, the way of life, the teachings of all the messengers was very simple. God is one. He has no partners, no equals. Worship him alone. Do not worship anything other than him. That's the, the main core of the message. And the second part is, he said messengers and people they have to follow the messenger sent to them at the time. So in the time of Noah, they would have to follow Noah in the time of Moses. So in the time of Moses, for example, they still have to believe in the previous messengers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, etc. But they don't follow them. Now they follow the law of Moses. So we say this is the message of Jesus as well, that God is one. He didn't claim to be God. He didn't ask people to worship him, and he came as a to the lost sheep of the uh, house of Israel to tell them to go back to the worship of the one true God and follow the teachings of Moses. And then after him, another messenger came, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, with the same message: God is one, and follow the message. So that's that's the basic message. And then what do you believe that Christianity teaches? What do I believe it teaches? Um, if we're talking general orthodox, you mean that we are had Sorry? You mean that we are one, that God is one? Um, you say it, but I, I think it has no reality to it. Because, for, for example, you're a Trinitarian. Yes. Okay. So God the Father, yes. God the Son, yes. God the Holy Spirit. Yes. All three of these are fully God. Yes. And all three of these are not each other. Yes. Not each person. Yeah, they're not each person. But they're all God. Yes. Oh, and God is one. Yes. This. Have you, have you ever come across, uh, they call it the LPT, Christian theolo uh, theologians, philosophers, scholars, they call it the logical problem of the Trinity. Have you come across it before? Basically, the, the problem is, if you have um, three separate persons who are all fully God, there's only, the only way you can come out of it logically and reasonable which the, with the mind which uh, God has given us is to believe that God is one, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are parts of God which make up one God, which obviously you don't believe. This is a modalism. But, or you have to believe there's three gods. Because if, if the Father is fully God and the Son is fully God and they're not each other, then this means there's two gods. Like, for example, me and you are both human. We're not each other. You're Joshua, I'm Yusuf. So this means two humans. Yes. We can't say we're the same in nature, therefore we're only one human. So that's that's the problem with the Trinity. Okay. Now, we can, we can treat it by scripture. Okay. And, um, for us to first understand God, we must first understand that He's outside of creation. Okay. That He's outside of anything that has been seen on the earth. So okay. when it comes to him revealing himself to mankind, it has to be by mercy. Uh -huh, for him okay. to show himself unto mankind and actually reveal himself. Uh -huh. If we believe that there is an eternal God who is outside of creation, that's nothing like creation. Yeah. If we believe that, then he must be of different components to us, right? We have to understand that God Yeah, yeah, he's, he's like a creator and we are creation. Yes, yeah. we are creation, yes. Yeah. And now my question is, why can't God be three persons? Just a question, why can't God be three persons? Why can't that be God? See, the thing is, when you say each person yes. is fully God, yes. then that means there's three, this person is God, the Father is God, the yes. Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. Yes. This means that three gods. No, it means one God. That is God. That's God. Uh -huh. Three persons, one God, yeah. one being. Yeah. Three persons and one being. Then that would, that, but that means they can't be all fully God. They would have, they'd have to be part of God. Because this is the, this the is word the Trinity is the this, word triunity, perfect yeah, unity. Yeah. And it's shown in Genesis. No. Before that, if we just look at the concept, how can you have the Father is fully God? Yes. And the Son is fully God. Yes. And they're not each other. Yes. And then you say that God is only one. Uh -huh. Are you asking how? Yes, how? 
how you ask like, that's good. like from that from the point of that my salvation is built upon it and I have to believe in it and I have to love God with all my mind yes. with all my strength with all my heart etc and this is a concept which no one can explain is that true yes like th think about it this is this is fully God yes and this is fully God yes Jesus and the Father they're not each other. Yes, they're not each person. Yes. Yeah, they're not each other. They're not each person. Like, so therefore, it has to be two separate persons, and each person is God. Therefore, it's two separate gods. That's the only way you can look at it. I mean, what you're doing is you're, how do you say, you're forced in a fact, and you're saying this is how it is. Yes. But how is it like that? Do you want me to prove? Yeah. That they move in perfect unity. Uh huh. Genesis. God gave the hands to him, and the spirit was moving over the waters. And then God said, Let there be light. We understand that scripture again, back in scripture. Yeah. This is exegesis. This is cross reference. Yeah. From John. The Bible says that Jesus is the light of the world. John 8 12. Uh -huh. So it's from that, from that revelation we understand that it was them moving in perfect unity. That's tri unity. Tri okay. So Ex explain. Created a new world. As we read from John chapter 1, mm. and all things that were made were made through Jesus. Through Jesus or by Jesus? By Jesus, for Jesus. Through or by? I'll read the scripture for you. Uh -huh. Yeah. See, look, there's, there's one thing at a time. When you quote Genesis, are you quoting it as this is how it's understood in the Hebrew language, or are you quoting it from the fact of because you believe in the Trinity, now you look in the Old Testament and you see the Trinity there? I mean, you see it all over scripture. Uh -huh. Like, for example, what you quoted, how does this demonstrate that God is unity. three persons? They're perfect unity. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. These, the, there's three persons, and these persons are one in essence, yes. which is God, and they are co-equal and co-eternal. Yes. How do you demonstrate that from the verse you quoted? That all three of them are created. Yes. Created? Yes. All three, all three yeah. of them are creating. Creating the world, yes. Where does it where does it show the sun there? I told you it's the light. Uh -huh. Let's see. This is the light of the world. Let's see. What are you saying? John Genesis 1 1. one two, three. Can I have the, the pin? Whoa, that's very long. One what? Or oh, you could use this one if you want. In the beginning, God created the head. Oh, sorry. Uh, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was, uh, was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Yes. So how does this show that God is three persons in one essence, and all three of them are co-equal and co-eternal? Now, we believe that God said that is the Father speaking. It's speaking with light. We believe that light is the sun. We believe that the spirit is moving. So look, but when God said, let there be light. Yes, that's the word. Okay. Yeah, that's the eternal word. <coughs> I would say from, the, from what is apparent, is the light didn't exist until God said, let there be light. Is that what you're saying? God said, let there be light, and there was light. This, this, is, this is how you would understand. If God says, let something happen, and then it happened, you would say that this light didn't exist before God said it. I mean, that's, that's the... the scripture that says, and God is light? See, see. see. Let's, let's go with this one first. Yeah, but if, yeah. but now, uh -huh. I'm telling you that now, what if I tell you that light is God, God is light? Uh -huh. Would that mean that light is eternal? So therefore, and you're saying this light here is referring to the same light as God? Yes. So God said, let there be God, and there was God. No, I'm not saying that. Uh -huh. I'm just giving you the concept that yeah. you're telling me that there's no possibility that this light could be Jesus. No, no, it's, it's not about possibility. You know, possibility can take you anywhere. Yes. But, you're, but we're, you're, we're talking, we're talking I, about evidence. I, I, we're talking about solid that, evidence. I'm saying that yeah. whatever I say right now, yeah. unfortunately, you won't believe it. All uh -huh. I'm saying is that yeah. you've closed off the possibility. So I'm bringing back that possibility to you, not for me. Me, no, see, see possibility is not enough to uh, to put your salvation on. No, but right now, yeah. for you, is is it, it possible? Is right, it possible? But, but, is it possible that God is one right now, and He's not you, free? 
What do you mean? Is it possible that God is one completely and not three persons? Is it possible? It's not possible. It is not that way. No, 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 no. But you're, you see how I turned it back on you. You're, good, yeah, you're saying if it's possible, then it, then it could be true. Okay, yeah. And I'm saying then it's possible that God is one in nature and it in is, person. Okay, let me say yeah. it is possible. Okay. Yes. Is it possible that after Jesus, another messenger came? Yes. Okay. So if you're basing things on possibility, yeah. I'm not basing, I'm just opening yeah. you up to because you're completely yeah. close to it. Uh -huh. I'm just opening up a possibility to yeah. you. Should so I, so I tell you why I'm close to it? Okay. Because I see that all of the messengers, they, they said that God is one. He has no partners, he has no equals. And God is eternal in his names and his attributes. Jesus was a human being. Yes. He was born from a woman. Yes. He had a God. He worshipped God. Yes. Uh, he, he ate food. Yes. He became tired. Therefore, he's not God. That's, yeah. That, that, that's, that's all the possibilities of Jesus being God is closed. So what about when Jesus said, just a question to you then. When Jesus said, I only do what I see my father do. In John 30, uh, was it 530? Yes. Yeah, but Jesus says that he was given authority from the father. Why does he say that? Uh, I believe John 30. Of, a, of my own self, I cannot do anything. Let me find Except the verse. Except what I do. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I, I would say this goes against your, your belief. I would say that because I believe that Jesus is saying, I only do what God does. Uh -huh. And if. Yeah, therefore he's not I, God. Sorry? Therefore he's not God. So can Muhammad say that? Just a question. Can Muhammad say, I only do what God does? We'll come to that in a minute. No, no can I? Uh -huh. No, 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 no problem, no problem. We'll come to that. I, that. I can of my own self do nothing. Okay. Continue, okay. continue. Okay. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father who have sent me. Yes. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. Yes. Uh, there is another that bear witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witness, witness uh, of me is true. Is up. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. See, the thing is, I know you mentioned Muhammad وسلم, and I moved away from it. I know you mentioned the Quran and I, and I moved away from it. We can come back to it, but it's, um, we have, it's, it's easy if we have a conversation on one subject. So, if you look at this. Yeah, 19. Okay, 19. Uh, then Jesus answered said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son of God can, can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do, for what things so, soever he, do, he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. Yes. So, okay. <coughs> this one, yeah. Jesus is saying that I only do what God does, the Father does, right? Uh -huh. Say, I don't do anything on my own. I only do what God does. And my question was... No, 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 no. I, 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 no, can I finish no, my question? But you, you're, not I, quoting, you're not quoting can, it correctly. Can I? You're misquoting it to put your belief in okay. it. It says here, the son can do nothing of himself. Yes, continue, yeah. continue. But what he seeth the father do, That's for what, what things so, so ever he doeth, whatever he these do. also do if the son likewise. Now, can I yeah. ask a question? Yeah. Can Muhammad say, whatever I see Allah doing, no. that is what I do? Why? No. Because Muhammad وسلم, is a human being. Yes, thank you. He's creation. Thank you. Therefore, but can thank God. You. Can, no, but, no, no. Not, but now you're proving yeah. what I'm saying. No, Muhammad no, no, can't no. say it. Then why uh, can Jesus but, say? That's my question. Firstly, I don't believe he said it. That's okay. why I started the subject. Right. I'll, I'll tell you why. But even if you take this on face value, the son could do nothing of himself. Yes, and continue. Don't finish there. No, no, no. no. But even the statement, can God say this? That God can do nothing of himself. Can you finish the sentence? Uh, it's not done. It's like and then, and then if we go to, if we go it's to like me saying I yeah. can't breathe unless I'm given oxygen. You didn't factor in the second part. Yeah, that's true. I can't breathe unless I'm given oxygen. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm I'm dependent. No, I'm in need. What I'm saying. Yeah. But I can breathe now that I have oxygen. So you have to yeah. add in the second part of the sentence. And that's what I'm saying. Finish the, the verse. Okay. I know, but uh, no, no, we're still here. We're still at the 19th. Then Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself. Uh -huh. For us, I'll come. God 
can never say this. No, can you God can never say this. Like I told you, uh, I can mm. say I can't breathe without oxygen. Yeah. If I leave out the second part, you just think I can't breathe. Okay. But now I have to add the second part, like now. You, you have to finish that, the verse. How does that example help you? I'm just telling you to because finish the leave, sentence. Because, okay. I'm just okay. saying, I can't just tell you. The son can do nothing of himself, but what he see of the father do. For that things which uh, the father does, he also does. He uh -huh. also do it. But he can't do them by himself. Can, can, okay. the fa can the father say, I, the father, cannot do anything except, except, except what the son does? He has proved it. Do, do, do you hear my question? The father cannot do anything except what the son does. The father does not say that. No, can he say that though? Yes. Then this is not God. God is Why? not dependent upon something else. Why are you only calling uh, the Father God? We believe that the Son, Spirit, and the Father is God. I believe Jesus called only the Father God. But, mm -hmm. but when we come to, um, this is what I thought you were talking about. Uh, 5:30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which have sent me. So here. It's reported that Jesus said, of my, of my own self, I cannot do anything. So this for us can never be God. Okay. That's, uh, as I hear, I judge. So Jesus is saying here, if this is what he said, that whatever God judges, he, he, he has to judge by this. Okay. Uh, and also here, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which have sent me. The fact that Jesus has a will, yes. and the Father has a will, yes. and Jesus has to submit yes. to the will of the Father, yes. God does not submit to another one's will. Okay. Uh -huh. that, this is our point that it's not God. Um, and, then, and then lastly, that Jesus was sent. The one who sends has authority over the one being sent. Therefore, we would say Jesus can never be God. Um, I just want to show you something in John. Uh, this is, you know, John is 21 chapters. You can, you can look at what the scholars say, who wrote John and when it was written. But this is the, just the last, before the last chapter, John 20, 31. So, or 30 and 31, is it, is it, the author is explaining why he wrote this book. Yes. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. So we can understand from this, the author is saying that Jesus done many things, many signs, many miracles, and all of them haven't been written in this book. Yes, we do. And, in, and many, many other, other signs, signs, truly other the signs, Jesus in the presence signs. of his disciples, yes, yes. signs. Not, not signs, other signs. Yeah, other According, signs, uh, which are not written in the book. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I agree. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Said that no, 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 as in there's miracles or lessons, etc., which the gospel has mentioned. Yes. And, he's saying, and he's saying there's other things which took place, which I'm aware of, yeah. but I haven't written them down. Yes. Which is normal, this is how people write books. Uh, then it says, but these are written, that ye might be believed that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you might have life through his name. Yes. Here, why didn't why didn't he say that you may believe that Jesus is God? Sorry? Like you you would expect you would expect the person, if you believe that Jesus was God, he would say, But these are written that they that uh, ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and He is God what also. Does it mean to be the Son of God in this context? Because, because no, you no, took, why, you why, why did you put the word context in? Because you've totally ruled it out now yeah. that the Son of God mm. is means God. That he's God. Yes. Yes, I, I completely rule it out. Yeah, then, from, from day one. Then why, why are you asking me this question? No, no, because, but, because yeah. it says that you might believe that He's the Son of God. Yeah. Why do you instantly believe that Son of God is not God? You would have to give a reason why, because for example... And I'm just asking you, because you brought me this question. I know, I know, I know. So I'm asking you, why have we instantly ruled out that but the Son aware, of God cannot be God? No, but you're aware of how you asked the question. I'm asking it again. I know, so I know, but you added it at the end in this context, because you're fully aware 
that in the Bible there's multiple sons of God. Of course. And when the translators they mention Jesus, they will put a capital S. And when they mention anyone else, they will put a small s. Yes. Which but has no space in the language. So it's because they have a belief that Jesus is God. Like why does and now now yeah. you're telling me that yeah. John you brought this scripture up because yeah. you believe that why didn't John say God? Yeah. So John was yeah. showing his belief, right? Yes. So now you're asking me yeah. it should because be clear. of their belief, yeah. Yeah. why did they add an S? Now No no the translator. The translator. The, the Greek word for uh, blessed are the peacemakers, yes. for they should be the sons of God and son of God concerning Jesus yes. is, is the same. Okay. So I'm saying the English translators, they, they add a small s and large s. But the point being... But, but the same English translators, yeah. uh, let's say they are scholars, let's say they are scholars. Yes. You're quoting scholars yeah. to me, you're telling me that scholars say this, you're telling me yeah. that scholars say this. Yeah. What if a scholar is now adding the s? Why wouldn't you take it? Because no, you've no. quoted to me many scholars. Let's go, let's go back to the point. Yeah. I'm saying that if you believe that John is explaining that Jesus is, is God, yes. and he's co-equal with, with the Father, and he's part of a trinity. John is telling you why he, or the author is telling you why he wrote the gospel, but he's not saying that. You're uh, implying that that's what he means. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me take you to another scripture. Let me get my phone now. Take no problem, no scripture. problem. Explaining, sorry? No, no problem, no problem. But this, this is why, sorry, this is why in the beginning, let me just mention something con concerning, you can look it up, sure. what biblical scholars say about the, the four Gospels. Yes. You know, you come across the expression synoptic Gospels, yes. uh, Matthew, sorry, Mark, Matthew and Luke. Synoptic because they, they look the same. Yeah, the same. Yeah. Are you aware of uh, what they call Mark and priority? Is it the can they, they believe that Mark was written first and they believe that the author of Matthew and Luke had the copy of Mark. You have to bring me the is, biblical is scholars. But yeah, I'm sure you're yeah. saying biblical scholars. I'm yeah. sure that bibl other biblical scholars will say differently. Very, very few, very few, very few. Now we have to do with numbers. Now it's a bit difficult. Let me just let me just come to yeah, the but point. You can't make such a claim I, like that. I, I, will, I will provide you evidence. What they mention is that Mark was written first. Yes. And because in Luke and Matthew, there's places where it's very clear it's been copied because you have sentences word for word, paragraphs word for word, where they've taken from one source. Can I stop you there? Is that a problem? Um, yes. Okay, now if I take it to the Quran... Shall I tell you why it's a problem? No, but can I just, can yeah. I just, if I take it to the Quran and yeah. I see that a, a story from the Bible has been put in the Quran, yeah. and if I say that it appears it's been copied, is that a problem? For example, speaking uh, of the, the, the air, the yeah. story of the air, saying that Allah like is the air, and, and that he'll come back and his voice will be, is, is somewhere in Luke, I believe it's Luke, I'll find it for you. Okay, you know what I suggest? Yeah. If we finish the subject, like how, how much, let, let, let's be fair, yeah. I, we've kept the subject on Christianity and the Bible. Do you want you want to talk about Islam and the Quran? Yes, we can speak about that. Okay. How much more time should we give to the subject of the Bible? Okay, as much as you want. You're the one that raised the first question. Okay. Okay, let me just say very briefly and then uh, when I finish you can you can answer, you can respond, you can say let's continue or you can say no, let's go to the Quran. Yes. Your choice. Yes, ma'am. Okay. When it comes to the the Bible, the, 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 we'll just stick to the Gospels. I'm, I'm just giving you this idea. You don't have to accept it from me that's now. Fine, that's fine. I bet, We're having a conversation. But hopefully, in your own time, you can look into it. That's fine. So, biblical scholars say the, uh, the first three Gospels, Mark, the author of Matthew and Luke, they had the copy of Mark in front of them because there's places where word for word is being copied. Word for word, when it's in Greek, and Jesus never spoke Greek, it would show that it has to be written down and they had to have a copy in front of them. This is what scholars say. And there's places where Matthew and Luke have actually adjusted the story or, or added things to the story or changed the story, which would show that they themselves didn't believe Mark was inspired. Does it? Yes, because if I believe something is inspired, how can I change it or correct it? 
Luke himself, if you go to Luke, the beginning, uh, Luke chapter 1, from 1 to 4, he tells you that, I saw that, that very paraphrased, many people before me, they wrote about the life of Jesus. And I felt it good to write about the life of Jesus from witnesses and those who reported from witnesses. So therefore I wrote a gospel. He's not saying I was inspired by the Holy Spirit to write this. He's just saying that many people done it. I felt it was good, so I'm going to do it as well. Uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. Yeah. Um, also, I would, I would ask you to look up the fact that uh, most, if not all, now all biblical scholars say the first person to actually write down the names of the Gospels was Irenaeus, who wrote uh, around the year 185. Before that, the Gospels existed without any names, without being attributed to any... Uh, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John... Uh, so, uh, Luke, sorry. So, my, my point is that we can discuss the book goes backwards and forwards, but I don't believe the book is reliable. So, it mentions here, so Luke 1, 1 to 4. For as much have have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed amongst us. Even as they have delivered them unto us, from the beginning were eyewitnesses and, witness, and ministers of the word. So he's saying that we, we receive this news from witnesses, eyewitnesses and ministers of the word. It seemed, good me, uh, it seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write unto thee in order uh, most excellent Theopolis. So he say, he's not saying, this is, this is the thing who we wrote it to. So he's basically saying that many people wrote, and I thought it was good to write as well, so I wrote in order, and obviously he believes what he's writing is correct. He doesn't name his witnesses, he doesn't name the ministers he took it from, but he's not saying I was inspired by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He's not saying he was inspired by the Holy Spirit. He's not even identifying himself. This Luke name was added later. This is the this is the opportunity to say I was inspired by the Holy Spirit to write this. Okay. Who said that? Who has said that? Who has? Okay. Let's say Matthew. Did Matthew write that? Matthew didn't write. Ma uh, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John, uh, as they as they're commonly uh, attributed to, none of them does said. It, does it ever say I was inspired? No. No. Does it have to? Do they have to say I was inspired? Does it? Um, we have to know where the claim came from. Like, if the if the church collectively is saying that these are the inspired words of God, then we have to know, did they, did they say this? Did the book say this? Did the book say it's the word of God? Let me just come to one point, which I wanted to mention. The Gospel according to John, I'm going to say now, biblical scholars, and obviously you don't have to accept it from me, biblical scholars say John was the last one to be written. And John is a completely different style. Many Christians, when they read the Bible, they read all four Gospels, and in, in their mind, they have a mixture of all of them. But they don't realize there's differences between them in reasons why they're written, what the author wanted to portray, etc., how they presented Jesus, etc. When you come to John, uh, the, early part, the early Gospels, uh, Jesus, he, he talks in small sentences, in parables. In John, it's long speeches. Uh, in, in, in John, there's many statements of profound importance to Christianity, which uh, all the I am statements, before Abraham I am, I am the way, I am the, the, uh, the truth, I am the life, no one will get to the Father except for me, uh, I am the bread of life, uh, the God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. I and the Father are one. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. These are very common statements which Christians quote to prove the divinity of yeah, the deity of Jesus, uh, the Messiah. These statements, they don't appear in the earlier Gospels. So we have, a, we have some options. That the early authors knew about these statements, but they didn't feel to write them. I don't know where that is coming from. I mean, it's an assumption. Yeah, it's an assumption. Yeah, it's, an assumption. it's an assumption. Or 
that Jesus never made these statements. And the later oh, on... That's very far, though. Yeah. It's, that's a very far reach. Yeah, or... Because, yeah. But is that logical? Okay, there's... Oh, there's that, the logic in that is... There's, is, a, there, is a, there, there's a far reach. There's another option. There is another option. Okay. Jesus made these statements, and the earlier authors of the Gospels were not aware of them. Okay, that's one option. Second is they were aware of them, but they didn't think they were important, or they didn't think it didn't carry enough weight to be put in. Our third option is John made them up. Okay. That's that is that is the options. That is the options, complete verbatim. That are the options. I don't think there's a fourth one. That is verbatim. That's verbatim. obviously. Obviously, I, I, I read this before. I've gone through this before. It's probably it's possibly it's, it's the first time you're hearing these options. I, I mean, I, 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 I can, <laughs> when, when you have a conversation like this, yeah. obviously sometimes one person can overpower the other, yeah. and sometimes it does happen. You go away, you you may, you may not have an answer now. You go away and you think, oh, no, no, that doesn't make sense. But these are the three options. These are the three options verbatim. Is that what you're telling me right? Yeah, now? that Jesus said them. Yes. And the authors were not aware of them. Okay. The authors of Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John were not. Uh, sorry, Mark, Matthew, and Luke were not aware of them. Or they were aware of them, but they chose not to write them. Why? Because they did. Now there's many reasons yeah. why they can choose not to write. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So it's, 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 it's an option. It's an option. It's an option. It's an option. It is an option. It's a very broad option. Our, our third is that the author of John made them up. Now the fourth is yeah. they didn't write it. <laughs> they didn't, no, no, but a, they didn't write it. We know they didn't write it. Yeah. That's not an option. And the fourth is they didn't write it. No, yeah. no, that's not an option. Oh, they just didn't write it. That God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Yes. It's not an option. They didn't write it. They didn't write it. It's not in Mark. It's not in Matthew. It's not in Luke. It's not an option. It's, it's, that's a fact. That's a reality. Like me and you are standing here. It's not an option. Am I standing here? Well, they just don't, but in the yeah. time, that was an option. Yeah, but there must be. We we know they didn't write it. But I'm saying the reason. The reason they didn't write it is because they didn't know about it. Yeah. Or they did know about it. Or. They if they did know about it, it yeah. if they did know, but let's stick to that. If okay. they did know about it, and they felt it wasn't important to write. Okay, that's number one. Next, yeah. according to you, they felt that they didn't think it was important. No, no, there's no other option. Why wouldn't they write no. it? Because they just didn't. Because they didn't think it was important enough. Well, they just didn't write it. But why wouldn't they write it? Like, because John, wrote I and the Father are one. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Yes. That God so loved the the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Before Abraham, I am. These are the. So now, what if in John, the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, the and the Word became flesh. The John is the only yeah. one that has this. Yeah, that, he, he is the only one who has it. Yes. But I'm saying, I'm saying the options. So, so therefore, now, what, what, yeah. Okay. Let's say, let's say they didn't know about it. Yeah, they didn't know about is that it. Problem? Yes. Why? I would say because because there's such weighty statements. Yes. Like, you may not be aware when you go to your church, when you read a book, when you sit with your friends, when you talk with Muslims, when you watch these dialogues. These are the verses which are constantly brought up because they're the they carry the most weight in terms of the the, di the deity of Jesus Christ. They carry the most weight. So. For them not to be mentioned by any of the earlier um, gospel writers is, is very problematic. So for me, I would say, as I, 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 I can say the same yeah, thing. Yeah. How come in the Quran he speaks about a spirit sent out to Mary? Just I'm just using yeah, this. Yeah. No problem. But how come it doesn't explain that that spirit is Gabriel? Uh -huh. And it has to be written by another person. Didn't Muhammad have, have the intelligence to write that in the Quran that the spirit is Gabriel? That's my question. Why couldn't that be written in the Quran and have to be written in the Hadiths hundreds of years later? Okay. I can say the same thing. Is no, that no, Muhammad no didn't know? No problem. No problem. No, is that Muhammad no problem. didn't know, uh -huh. or he felt it wasn't important? Uh -huh. It's a very, it's a very weighty statement. No, that no, one, no, no. The spirit sent out to Mary. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand your question. So, my, yeah. I'm bringing it back yeah. to you, the yeah. same we're relating yeah. here. Now, yeah. why didn't Muhammad explain in the Quran? The, the Quran, okay, for, for us, obviously, you don't accept this. For us, the Quran is the, is the word of God, the word of Allah. So, is, it has, is, it has is one, the word of God? It has one author. It has one author. Same as John? <coughs> uh, no, because we haven't established. Same as John? No, 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 because 
The difference is according to Islam. No, let me just say the, the diff, just to get on that. Yeah, on yeah, that point. yeah. According to Islam, yeah. the Quran only has one over right? Yes. All right. According to the Bible, John. It's written by John, right? The sheep. No. Okay. That, 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 that's the point I want to mention. See, we have a claim yes. and we have uh, evidence. You can What's the evidence about the Quran? Let me, let me just come to it. Let me come to it. Firstly, the Quran is actually claim. The Quran itself is claiming to be the word of God. Okay. So whether that claim is true or false, whether we prove it or we don't prove it, the claim has been made. But the gospel according to John hasn't claimed to be written by John. The gospel of Mark hasn't been claimed to be written by Mark. The gospel of Luke hasn't claimed to be written by Luke. None of them have claimed to be inspired. None of these authors have claimed to be inspired or none of them claimed to be written by the authors. Both. Both. I mean, Luke saying, so, 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 Luke saying, Luke saying, I thought it was good. Yeah. Does that mean I wasn't inspired? But he doesn't tell you. Yeah. Be honest. Does that mean that he wasn't inspired? Yes. Should I say? Yes, one hundred percent. So one hundred percent. So just because one hundred percent. So what did Muhammad say concerning uh -huh. the, the, concerning him getting the revelations? Oh, he made the claim that the angel Gabriel came to him. Okay. Because and and said the yeah. whole Quran to him. Yes. Yes. He he said that claim that Angel Gabriel revealed everything in this book. No, not not in those words, not in those specific words. But what did he say? But, but the Quran has come to him. It's claimed that the Quran was sent down. The the Quran is the speech of Allah. The Quran claims it multiple times. Uh, the Quran was brought down by the Angel Gabriel. The Quran makes this claim multiple times. Uh, the, the Quran was sent down upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Quran it makes this claim. The speech of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Hadith, they make this claim. So my point is the claim is there, but the idea that uh, Luke. First, I think we're drifting away from yeah. the question I asked you. <laughs> Which was. The, the point is, I'm, I'm trying to establish is the, no, we're, the drifting, we're drifting away though. The authority of the books. But we're drifting away. Yeah. I ask you, if yeah. it was so important, why did Muhammad mention the Quran that the spirit sent out to Mary was Gabriel, and that the spirit is Gabriel? Why did it have to come in the hadith? Why couldn't it come in that? Let me see. See, the thing is, it's known, it's established. By who? Where? By the whole Quran. Where, see, where, that, that, that's, no, where? I'll come to it. I'll come to no, it. Just show let, me where. All I'm asking let, is now. Where? Let me answer. Let me answer you. No, but just show me where. That's yeah, I'm going to mean. answer you. I'm going to answer you. Please answer me. Before, okay. If I forget, we're gonna we're gonna, <coughs> we're gonna no, be a problem. No problem. No problem. Um, just one thing before. It, Please don't forget. No. Luke. If Luke was inspired by the Holy Spirit, yeah. would he not think it important? Would he not say that the Holy Spirit has inspired me to write this? Would he just say that many other people wrote and I felt it was good, therefore I wrote also? That's a good question. I think the answer is no. Okay. No, that, you can think that answer is no. I've not said. Yeah, because, but the thing is, if, if then Christians are like yourself, have come here and you're presenting like you're, you're talking to me, but you're talking to other people, you're talking to your family members, colleagues, etc., and you're calling them to Savior, the Gospel of Jesus Christ, that He died for your sins, and you're basing it on the, the Bible because you believe it's the Word of God, as you said, and it's inspired. But the book itself is not telling you, and the author himself is not telling you who he is, and he's not telling you he's inspired. Then it becomes an external claim. So now, can I ask you a question? Yes. If Muhammad didn't say he was inspired by Gabriel, yeah. would you believe it's true? Just a question, general question. To be honest, completely honest, is it live? Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, but just be honest. So, some, some of them might be live. Um, see, the thing is, is, it's very hard to base a question on if. No, I'm just asking, yeah. just, just you yeah. personally. Uh, see, look. As you can see, I'm an Englishman. I, I embraced Islam. Now, obviously sometimes you can see that I, you may feel I'm being long-winded. A few years ago, I've been Muslim about 30 years. A few years ago, a person came to me and said, a Christian came, he was a bit aggressive. And obviously, 
we have aggressive Muslims, not all Christians are the same, etc. So I'm not blaming Christianity. He was a bit aggressive. And he said to me, why did you become Muslim? So I started answering. And then I realized what I was doing was I'm, I'm answering from my 30 years experience. Or my reading, my studying. But that wasn't the reason why I embraced Islam. If, if we're talking the initial point. The initial point was I looked at Christianity, I liked it, I liked uh, the life of Jesus. As a Muslim, I will tell you the Bible is like this, Jesus is like this, can't believe in the Trinity, don't believe in the hypostatic, etc. etc. Et et but at that time, I liked it. You liked it? I liked it, yeah. Which, I mean, as Muslims, we still we love Jesus, etc. Um, I, but I, I didn't feel it, it offered uh, structure or laws. So I looked at the Old Testament. I liked the laws. I started following some of them, etc., etc. But then later on, a, a Muslim came to me, and he only spoke to me for five minutes. When he spoke to me, um, for me, my personal experience, it was so clear, so simple. God is one, worship him alone. He sent messengers and he sent books. Follow the messenger sent to you, follow the books. There's going to be a day of judgment. If you follow the message and, and the books and you worship God alone, you go to paradise. If you don't, help. So that's the reason why I embraced Islam. So the question of, um, and I became Muslim on that basis without knowing what the hadith says and what the Quran says. So, so I would answer your question on my own. Uh, I, yes, I would. Even but, if he said he wasn't inspired. Sorry? Even if Muhammad said, he, even if Muhammad didn't mention that he was gay, he inspired. That's my question. If Muhammad did not write. <coughs> yeah. No, because the, the thing is. Do you believe in the hadiths? Yes. Are the hadiths inspired? Yes. Does it say that the hadiths are inspired? Yes. Can I see it, please? Yes. <laughs> Let me do I like you so much, Yusuf. Yes. Right. <laughs> but back to my point. So. I embraced Islam on the basis of the simple message, without knowing these things. Then later on, obviously, I tried to acquire more knowledge, I tried to understand, and then this is what the Qur'an is saying, this is what the Hadith is saying. So the question of if Muhammad didn't say it, but he did. I'm just asking yeah. you personally. Yeah. Okay. As, as for... Because we've, we've drifted away from my initial point. Yes, I'm yes, still yes. on that question. Why, if it was so important, yeah. why didn't Muhammad mention in the Quran that Gabriel was that spirit sent down to Mary? Okay, I will say. Was like, it because he didn't know? Was no, it because it wasn't important? No, no. Because Cause I'm doing the same thing that you did to me. No problem, no problem. You're not, but <laughs> you're not. But anyway, Joshua, so in the Quran and in the Sunnah, we have... Uh, is established. Can I ask a question quickly? I, I just remember. No is problem. The Quran, is the Quran uncreated? Yes. It's the speech of Allah. It's from His knowledge. Is the knowledge of God created? So is is the knowledge of God created? Is the attributes of God created? Yes. So that's the Quran. Yeah. It's the, it's the speech of Allah. It's, it's from the knowledge so of Allah. Is the Quran Allah? No. Can the speech of Allah be separated from Allah? How is it separated? Like can, can, is it differentiated? Do you believe the word of God is created? Do you, do you believe God's mercy is created? Like, this, this is, a, yeah. no, this, is, this, this is Greek philosophy. Yeah. Greek philosophy is not going to help any of us. I, I would say, we're on the subject of uh, Angel Gabriel. No, no, no. Uh, Lizzie, other hadith inspired. No, 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 I don't, I don't want you to think that I'm a... Uh, they call it the, the Muslim shuffle. Yeah, I, shuffle I, I, I don't even think that I'm doing this. I know, I know the questions you have. You know the question. But philosophy. I would say philosophy is, the, is what has led the Christians to where they are and what led the Jews to where they are. When they were under Greek rule, the Hellenistic period, all of these ideas that the Logos in the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, and the Word was God the hypostatic union, yes. the trinity, all of these, they come from Greek philosophy. They don't, they don't come from revelation. They don't come from Moses. They don't come from Abraham. They don't come from Jesus. So the trinity doesn't come by revelation? No. Why? Where do you get that from? 
Anyway, you don't believe in the authenticity yeah. of the word. Yes. So, <laughs> if I prove it to you, yeah. the Trinity, you won't believe it. From the Bible. I mean, the Bible could say on every single page of it okay. that, that Jesus is God. Jesus, it, could, it could say it in every... I wouldn't accept it because Jesus was a human being. He worshipped God. He was in need of God. And we can go back yeah. to where he was again. Yeah. Um, where uh, Ash, can Muhammad say that? You said no because Muhammad no, is a Muhammad human. No, Muhammad can't. Because he said that. He can't yeah, say that because he's a human. But I don't believe Jesus said this either. Okay. Yeah. Then we're in a big, then we're in a big circle. No, no, because anyway, can we get back to it? If it was so important, <coughs> yeah. Muhammad, you, why didn't he put in the Quran that angel Gabriel is that spirit sent out to me? Okay. Sure. Okay. Because when when something is known, you where is it known? How do they know? The I'm, I'm going yeah. to tell. I'm going to tell you how it's known. In the Quran, from chapter to chapter, chapter to chapter. The, okay. The fact that God sends the angel Gabriel with his message. Yes. The fact that God sends the angel Gabriel uh, to punish nations is established. So when a messenger comes to Jesus, and also the Jesus, uh, the angel Gabriel in the Quran is known as Ruh, the, the soul, the spirit, which you would say is. Um, the third person of the Trinity. So if, if the if the angel is known as Ruh, is known as spirit, and then in other places, like for example, the, the Quran has been sent down by the Ruh, and then in another verse, the Quran has been sent down by Angel Gabriel. Like, can I show you? Yes, please. Okay. Um, so this is chapter 26 of Quran. Have you got English translation? So uh, that I know that. Yes, but I, got, I, I want to see it. No I problem. Only to read the English. The problem is, the problem is, I've got old eyes. This this print is very small. Um, no problem. Uh, let me just see. Um, let me see. Okay. Here, this is chapter 26 of the Quran. I mean, I can't read it. <laughs> no problem. I'm going to tell you what it says. I mean, you can. But I'm going to tell you. You can. You can find the video. You can go back. You can come back this next is going week. To YouTube. Uh, yes. What's the page? Uh, this brother is uh, Sam Dawa. This one is Dawa to Soul. I, I can write them down for you. And I think there's another one. S S F Dawa. They're all uh, related. They've all got Dawa in their name. Okay. So this is chapter 26, verse 192. It mentions, وَإِنَّ هُوَ لَتَنْزِيلُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Verily it, here is referring to the Qur'an, is a revelation from the Lord of all the worlds, all that exists. نَزَلَ بِهِ رُوحِ الْأَمِينَ It has been brought down by the trustworthy spirit. عَلَى قَلْبِكَ تَتَكُونَ مِنَ مُنْذِرِينَ Upon your heart, Meaning the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Muhammad is not mentioned here. Yes. But this so, is, this but how do we know? I, I'll tell you. Okay. But it's, it's a pronoun. It's saying you. Yeah. In order that you may be a warner. In a clear Arabic tongue or a clear Arabic language. So, um, so here. We're saying that the angel who brought it down, or the one who brought it the down, spirit. was the ruh. Was the ruh? Ruh is spirit. Yes. Ruh, even in in uh, in Hebrew, it has many meanings. It can mean the wind. It can mean the spirit. It can mean a power. It can mean revelation. It can, it can be it has many meanings. Okay. But the ruh. But it says spirit. Yeah. It, it mentions ruh. But you can say. The, the meaning is open. It could be this, it could be that, it could be this, it could be that. that now, yeah. now comes my question again. Yeah, yeah I'm coming to it. I'm coming the to Quran it. Is supposed to, the Quran states right that it answers all things in detail. Yes. Yeah, now, that's my question. Like, if it's so important... No problem, no problem, no problem. If every word is inspired and it's so important, yeah. why is it not explained? In oh, detail? it is explained. Why? Did, it is explained. Where? In the Hadith? Uh, in the Quran and in the Hadith. Okay, again. Uh, come well, I'll come to it, I'll come to it. Um, obviously, you could say I'm Muslim, I'm biased, but all of your questions can be answered. Now, if we go to the Quran, chapter 2, um, verse, I believe, 96. 
Okay. It mentions here. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. It's getting too aggressive. No, it's just a bit loud there. Me, I'm very quiet in my program. Everyone is different. Everyone is different. Yeah. So this is chapter two. Of I think the perfect match. I and 96. Yeah. Uh, sorry, 97. It mentions called say, man kana aduwa le Jibreel. Say whoever is an enemy to Jibreel. Yes. Gabriel. For inna hu nazalu hu ala qalbi ka bi idni Allah. Verily, he has sent it down. Sent what? It. What's it? I'll come to it. Inna hu nazalu hu ala qalbi ka bi idni Allah. Uh, what's, wait, what's limit? What does that mean? We'll come to it. That's that's another that's another Christian. What does that mean? Uh, I, I'm going to explain. No, no, just quickly. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just asking. Your day okay. means in your hands. Okay. Can we read that whole verse in English? Yeah, yeah, I will. Just quickly. Just quickly. So I yeah, can I, I am. Because you're doing it in parts. Okay. Say, whoever is an enemy to the to the uh, to Gabriel. Yes. Verily, he. The pronoun is referring to Gabriel. Sent it down. The it here is referred to the Quran. I, I will give you evidence for that. Allah upon your heart, by the permission of Allah, confirming that which you have with you between your hands. What's between their hands? Just a question. The Torah and the Injil. I know where you're going. No, I'm just asking because it sounded familiar. Sounded familiar. Fine, fine. I'm not going there. That's not our conversation. Hold on, we're bushler than what meaning? As a guidance and a glad tidings to the believers. So. Uh, let me just come to uh, chapter Muhammad, verse 47. Uh, sorry, chapter chapter 47, uh, verse 2. What I want to say is that you have pronouns which are used, which we understand straight away. This is referring to so-and-so. But we have other evidence in the book explaining who those pronouns are referring to. Like, for so example, if someone said, where's Joshua? He's gone, to, he's, he's gone to the shop. Obviously, the distance, we we understand. Okay. Or if, if you have a group here and someone says, I'm not saying you, but say, say for example, you have a habit of being late and you have a habit of going missing when you go on these little uh, trips. And uh, the person who's responsible says, where is he? Everyone knows who you're talking about. Because it's something which is established. But anyway, it's broad. It's broad. Yeah, it's broad. But I'm going to give you a clear verses. One gonna... person may say, who? Uh, okay, this is a... Uh... Sorry? Uh, let me see. So this is chapter 47. It's known as uh, chapter Muhammad. Well, you're still explaining my point, right? Yeah. You're showing me where the spirit a, 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 Angel Gabriel. Gabriel. But I just wanted, because you mentioned who, uh, the cat that sent down upon you. So those who um, those who believe and they do righteous deeds and they believe in that which has been sent down upon Muhammad. So therefore, the, the ruh here is referring to Gabriel. Say again. The, the ruh is referred. The, verse, the, the first verse I gave you in chapter 26, yes. it mentioned it was brought down by the trustworthy ruh. Spirit. Yes. And then I showed you a verse in uh, yeah, chapter that 2. That says? That the, the angel Gabriel brought it down. It's down. The What's Quran. The Quran. Okay. Okay. So therefore, what is showing you is that when it mentions the rule here, it's referring to the angel uh, angel Gabriel. Read this one more time. Uh, from 26. This one, this one, yeah. This one. This is referring to who it was sent down upon. Uh, those who be, those who they do uh, they believe and they do righteous deeds and they believe in what has been sent down upon Muhammad okay. sent down upon Muhammad yes yes the Quran so my point is when it says sent down you yes. assume that is no because verses they show you continuously no when it comes to Angel Gabriel, can I see it in English? I really want to see it in English. Sorry about
Let's see. Um, oh, that's not that small. Your eyes are strong enough. <laughs> no, sometimes it's problematic. Today it seems okay. Allah knows What's best. your name before? Uh, Robert. Robbie. As, <laughs> as you wish. As you wish. Uh, see, the thing is, it's, it's, a, it's a cultural habit where people change their names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, because it was cultural, everyone done it. Then later on we realized, oh, we don't have to change your name unless unless your previous name has a bad meaning, like yeah, yeah. the worship of some yeah, Zeus yeah, or something yeah. like that. But when I changed my name, I changed it officially as well. So oh, now really? to go back is just a headache. <laughs> and everyone knows me as Yusuf, as so, Yusuf yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, what verse were we looking for? Okay, this is the verse. <laughs> and, and, and indeed it is the revelation of the Lord of the worlds. And obviously in brackets it's called Anne. The trustworthy spirit. Don't worry about the, the brackets. The trustworthy spirit has brought it down. Yes. Upon your heart that you may be of the warners in a clear so Arabic language. Now the trustworthy spirit said it out. Now yeah. the next verse you took me to. Uh, chapter 2. Let's see. Okay. Chapter 297. So, whoever is an enemy to Gabriel, it is uh, he has brought it down upon your heart by the permission of our Lord, confirming that uh, which was before it as a guidance and good tidings for the believers. How do we know? Okay, this is fine. I want to read the whole verse, the whole chapter. I mean, this this is chapter two. It's the longest chapter in Quran. I want to read the whole chapter so I can know what it is. Okay. Um, can I have this? Yeah, you can have it. No problem. No problem. Um, let me see. Something I wanted to mention to you. Let me just show you. Um, something about the hadith. I think we're having a, uh, we, we mentioned a lot of subjects. I, I think quite of them are, they're left open. We haven't come to a conclusion. I don't think we. Uh, I, I haven't smashed you. You haven't smashed me. You haven't uh, humiliated me. I, so they're open. Decimated. Yeah. So, but I, I would, I would leave them open for you to look into. For me, for me, they're, they're quite clear. But um, let me see. Sort of nudging. Uh, Concerning the, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Quran. Okay. So this is chapter 53. By the star when it descends, your companion has not strayed nor has he erred, nor does he speak from his, his own inclination. It is but a revelation revealed. So from this, next verse. Uh, taught him by one intense in strength, one of soundness, and he rose to his true form, yes. etc. So here, while he was in the higher part horizon, then he approached and descended, yes. and was at a distance of two bow lengths or nearer, yes. and he revealed to his servant what he revealed. The heart did not lie about what it saw. Uh, so will you will you dispute with him over what he saw? And he certainly saw him uh, in another descent. Keep you this at the low tree of the uppermost boundary. Near it is the garden of refuge. Uh, when they covered the low tree, that which covered it. I want to keep reading. Okay. <laughs> I, I would ask you to do it in your own time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because otherwise time doesn't permit. But um, here. What we understand from this is that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he did not speak of his own desires when he spoke in matters of religion, but rather it is revelation which was given to him. Uh, he did not speak of his own desires, rather it is revelation. So therefore we take the hadith. If they authentically uh, go back to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, then we take it as revelation in his speech, in his actions, in his approval. Like for example, the so, so now 
you guys are taking a role of scholars now. Um, say no to some of these. Yes, yes. With uh, okay. with reasons the same way. Okay. The same way. Uh, same way. The church. But you you the, don't, you, the, the but same you, way the church has, has the church for that. No no no. I, I'll explain why though. The same way the church has a canon in which they accept some books yes. and they reject other books and they have certain conditions which I so now, believe I they haven't fulfilled them I might forget. Yeah. some hadiths are inspired some are not yes so and the ones that are inspired we would say some are authentic okay. there's four levels Hassan yes Sahih, Sahih is authentic Hassan is a uh, it's sound or good it means we accept it we act upon it we take it into our belief we take it into our worship but it's not the same level as authentic. Then there's uh, da'if, which is weak. But do you still accept some da'if hadith? We'll come to it. We'll come to it. No, just yes or no. I'm not asking for that. You have to understand the subject before you. No, I'm just asking, like, do you accept some weak ones? It's, it's just an honest question. Um, there's, there's some times when they are used, but generally no. The general answer is no. But you'd have to understand the subject to understand. And then lastly, there's fab fabricated hadith. Fabricated. Okay. The conditions. Uh, shall I give you this? Or? Yes, please. I'll, 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 do you want to put it down for a while? Do you want to, you, do you want to put it down for a while? Or? Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. We'll, we'll end it very soon. When it comes to the hadith. There's five conditions of Islam and Muslim and calling to Islam. So I'm, I'm going to put in something. If these five conditions, we apply them to the Bible, we would not accept a single sentence, a single verse. Okay. The, f the five conditions for the hadith. I'm going to give you a, in a nutshell. I can demonstrate this if you want. We can go into detail. But any hadith to be considered authentic, it must fulfill five conditions it must be it is said it the chain must be complete so for example imam bukhari rahimullah who died 256 years after huh? what imam bukhari or the conditions it's, it's well known by, by his biographers i mean I, I, I can I can demonstrate. I, I was, it's well known that the sun is a star. No problem, no problem, no problem. Let me give you these five, and then we can go into Imam Bukhari. We can go into his life. We can go into his writing. But so from Imam Bukhari, for for him Imam Bukhari to say that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said this or did this, we would have to have. Uh, who did Imam Bukhari take it from? Who did he take it from? Who did he take it from? Who did he take or she take it from? Back to the Prophet Muhammad SAW. It would have to be a complete chain. That's what. When it comes to the complete chain, every person in this chain has to fulfill two conditions. They must be known to be trustworthy. They must be known of good character. They don't engage in major sins, etc. They're known to be good. They're not known to be liars, etc or innovators etc major sins so there's major minor sins yes yes um, which is another subject then not only are they trustworthy but they must be they must be precise as in they're precise in their recording of the narrations and they're precise in their transmitting and that precision either is by writing or by memory and this is something which is tested this is something which is tested That's it's, it's, it's very high, it's very a uh, high standard. Then the last two, they're a bit technical. Uh, this one, it should be the narration itself. If it, if, it, if it fulfills the first three, it has to be free from shadhuf. It shouldn't be odd or peculiar. As in, someone's, you have a hadith, everything seems correct about it, but the meaning goes against something which is more authentic more is reported more numerously they would say that this is, is odd as in it's, it must mean that someone made a mistake so therefore it's put to the side okay and then lastly which is very difficult to explain it's a, a hidden uh, a hidden defect it would have to be free for these this this subject is very it's very detailed but now, so the, on that last one yeah that's the, this is all concerned the quran or hadith hadith Hadith. The Quran is, is something else. So, so basically, like, 
If I if I show you, I I am alive. I don't know how you're able to stand up so so long. Uh, I'm dealing. We get used to it. Let me just see. I've been here since 11 a.m. Oh, okay. Okay. This is uh, 2024. Everything's on phones. So yeah. this is six book. This is nine books of hadith. The most famous ones: Bukhari, Muslim, Abu Dawood, etc. If we take Bukhari, uh, this is actually the hadith about how revelation came to the Prophet okay. But so Imam Bukhari, who died 256 years after the, to, the Hijrah, according to, to know, all the scholars, according to every, according, yeah, it's everyone, it's, it's well known. Every scholar. Because Imam Bukhari, no, every scholar. Yes, we know his biography. Okay, look. For example, just be careful with such statements. Muhammad. His name is Muhammad. Okay. Abu Abdullah, the father of Abdullah. Uh, Abu Muhammad, uh, uh, Abu Abdullah Muhammad bin Ismail bin, bin Ibrahim al Mughira al Barisba al Ju'fi al Bukhari. Uh, he's the, Muhammad is the son of Ismail, who's the son of um, uh, Abraham, Ibrahim, who's the son of Mughira, who's uh, Badisba. Badisba is a Persian name. He's known as the, the clan of Jutfa. Jutfa is the his great grandfather. When he embraced Islam, he embraced Islam by the tribe of Jutfa. So that's putting his name. Where do you know this from? Jukhad. His biography is it's well known. It's, it's well written. Um, I will show you. I will show you. No, just tell me. If you don't know, just fine. No, no. Scholars are the, his students. They wrote his biography. We What's have the student's name. Where was it written? Um, he had many students. Like, yeah, where, where is it written? What's it called? That's all I want to know. Um, I think if you want to find it, no, just, just ask me if you know. Do you know? Uh, off the top of my head, no. It's very scary to say that. No, no problem, no problem. No, but it's, it's very simple. It's established. The life of Imam Bukhari, his biography. When you read any book on him or by him, they will start with the biography. I'll watch this back. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay. So here, Imam Bukhari, he's narrating something from Aisha. The, the wife of the Prophet Muhammad So obviously between him and Aisha, there's many years. So he's the raising from a person called Yahya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Yahya bin Kathir. Is, bin Kathir? No, bin Kathir. So Yahya, the son of Kathir. He's known as Abu Zakariya. He's the father of Zakariya. Uh, his Nasib, what is his tribe? He's uh, Qurashi al-Makhsubi, Mawlahum al-Shami al-Misri. So this is from the tribe he's from, this Yahya ibn Kathir. Uh, where did he live? He lived in, in uh, Egypt. When was he born? He was born 155 years after the Prophet Muhammad. You know the Islamic cal calendar? Where was Muhammad born? In the Old Testament. He was born... Where's Anis? Is it in the Hadith? No, bi bi biographers wrote about it. Written by him. So many, so many. But also, also the hadith. The hadith contain his biography as well. Let, let, let's stick to one subject at a time. What subject are we on? Actually, I'm showing you the hadith, how they're preserved. Okay. 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 So this is just an example. So Yahya, the son of Abdullah, uh, he was born the year 155. He died in the year 231. Islamic calendar. Uh, and then this is what the scholars said about him. This is what Ibn Hajj Eskalani said about him. So uh, the point being, so every person, Yahya, oh sorry, not Kathir, sorry, my mistake. Yahya bin Bukhair, qala hadathna al and Aqil, and Ibn Shihab, and Urra bin Zubair, and Aisha. So these people, Yahya bin Bukhair, al al uqail Ibn Shihab, al Urwa, this is the chain. So, these people, we have their biographies. Like, for example, when it comes to the most famous books of hadith, it's known as Qutb al-Sitta, the six books. Uh, scholars like Al-Mizzi, uh, Ibn Hajj Eskalani, etc., they gathered the biographies of all the people, all the narrators, in all six books. There's around 12,000 of them. And we have their, their names, their father's names, their tribes, born, died, traveled, who were their teachers, who were their students, uh, what countries did they go to, and then what did the scholars of hadith say about them. So we have this for every single hadith. Therefore, if these five conditions are met, this hadith becomes sahih. If, the, if a person is known to be a liar, or if a person is known to be uh, forgetful, like for example in, in his old age, 
then the hadith will become weak. It wouldn't be accepted. So, so basically, when we say that the Prophet Muhammad said this or did this, the idea that it was written down 200 years later, no, Imam Bukhari, rahimallah, he collected it 200 years later. But he gives you a full chain back to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imam Bukhari, before Imam Bukhari wrote, um, Imam Ahmed wrote, Imam Malik wrote, we have books written by the teachers of uh, Imam Bukhari, uh, Ibn Ishaq al uh, Al-Humaydi, we have their books. Uh, the Musnad Ibn Abi Shayba, the Musnad Ibn uh, Abdul Razak. So we have books before this. So this is how we know the Prophet Muhammad said this or he did this. So when the hadith says that Jibreel alayhi came to the Prophet sallallahu if the, the chain is correct, we accept it as authentic. And as I said, if you apply this to the Bible, like many, many people, they talk about the preservation of the Bible. For me, this is secondary. The major problem with the Bible is the, the authenticity of the original authors. Were they inspired? Is it the word of God? Did they have authority to write? Do we have the original books? And I would say, for the vast majority of the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we don't. So, I mean, yes. So, so therefore, when we when we base our belief that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the final messenger, we base it on the Quran and the Sunnah. No I remember we read that verse, Lima Bay Yadi, something like that. Yes. African background, what is it? Torah and Nigeria that they had yes. in their hand. Yes. <laughs> was it corrupt in the time it was in their hand? Yes. Really? Yes. So Allah confirmed a corrupting book that was in between their hands. Right. I'll explain it to you. No, just yes or no. It, it, no, it's, it's not it's not everything in life is not always yes or no. I'll, I'll explain. No, did Allah confirm a corrupt book that was in between their hands? No. Yes and no, actually. I'll tell you why. Are you, are you, are you open? Yeah, of course, of course. I've been open all the time. Okay. As Muslims. I'll, I'll give you the nutshell. Don't give me as Muslims. Stick to the text. Stick to the text. No, no. Try. What I'm going to do, I will give you in a nutshell what Muslims believe. Yeah, but is it? Give and, me the text. Okay. Because no problem, no problem. What is in between no, their hands. No problem. So was it corrupt? And when does the Quran say that it was corrupt or okay. in their hands? I'm going to tell you that. Those are my first two questions. Ba basically, what, what, I, what my, uh, my plan is to give you in a nutshell what we believe. And then okay. bring you the evidence, if you have time, I don't have time. From, from, oh, no, no. from the Quran yeah. to prove what I'm saying. Okay. All I want to know is this. Yeah. Yeah. Did Allah confirm a corrupt book between their hands? It's not like that. But it, you told me it was, cor it was corrupt when it was in okay. their hands. What, is that true? Yes or no? The problem is... Like to take the statement back? Or I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer you. Okay, can I ask you this question? Are you going to take that statement back? Or is that your statement? That uh, the book was corrupted when it was in their hands? Yes or no? Are, are you going to give the... Uh, let's are you, are you, to, let's uh, just walk no, no, no. I'm now asking you the no, question. No, no, Joshua. But, Joshua. I, are you going to tell me how I should answer? I'm, I want to answer correctly. No, I'm walking with you. I haven't even. Uh, I'm just asking okay. questions yeah. before I ask. Okay, let me answer you. No, let me ask. Okay. Lima uh -huh. Bay Yes. Confirming that which was in between their hands. Uh -huh. My question to you is: Was it corrupt at the time it was in their hands? Yes or no? You said yes, my okay. The answer is: If you go to the Quran, yes. chapter five, verse forty-eight. Wa amzana alaykum kitab bil haq. Yes. Allah mentioned, after mentioning the Torah and the Injil, yes. He mentioned, and we sent down to you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, a book of truth yes. confirming that which came before it. Confirming? Yes, confirming. confirming. So, let me finish. So, my question. The verse hasn't finished. Okay. Yes. And as a judge over it. Let me see that. Chapter 5, verse 48. Chapter 5, verse 48. See, let, let me just, yeah, chapter 5, verse 48. As Muslims, we're saying that. In fact, I have to go there. No problem. Confirming 
that which is in between his hands. I mean, is it corrupt at that time? Yes or no? Yes, without so a doubt. So Allah is confirming a book that's corrupt. No, no. See, see, look. No. See, I, what I'm telling you, Joshua. What no, I'm telling no, you, Joshua. Because, but you, do what? you see how you're answering me? How the answer is? I'm asking you, is it Joshua. corrupt? Okay. Yes. I'm asking you, did Allah confirm a corrupt book? You're saying no. Tell me when you finish, and then, and then, and then I'll answer you, you and I'll tell you question? when I finished. Can you answer this question? Yes, I can answer. And answer truthfully. Alhamdulillah. That is my intent to answer truthfully. I, be, I believe I'm going to die. I'm going to be judged. So I have to answer truthfully. Yes. A corrupt book. Because the book is corrupt in your words, okay. in their hands. Did no. Allah use what was given to Muhammad to confirm a corrupt book? Yes or no? I'm going to answer you now. Have you finished your question? I finished that question. Okay. And are you going to let me answer? Yes, I'm going to let you answer. Okay. But as, as quick as possible. No disrespect. Okay. As quick as possible. No problem, because I could have answered it already. Yes. As Muslims, we believe what was given to Moses and we believe what was given to Jesus. We believe what the Christians have today is corrupted text. Things have been added, things have been taken out. People have written things with their own hands, as the Quran confirms. Yes. That, the, that they wrote, that they distorted the words, they added words, they wrote with their own hands, and the Quran confirms this. So when we say we confirm that which is with, that which was sent down to Moses and Jesus, and what the Christians have today, we have a criteria. But I, I'm, not asking, I, I'm, I'm not asking about today, though. Can we, I'm asking in, what in, they had. even in the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Let, let me tell you. That's just my question. Uh, about today, right now. Yes. All I'm asking is, did Allah confirm a corrupted book? That's it. No, no, because it's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not a simple yes or no. Uh, uh, no, you like, say. You just said yes. You just said no. Yes, because it's both, and I'm going to explain to you why. That's that's like me saying to you, was Jesus God? Yes. Or was he man? Yes. No, yeah. yes, yes. No, but was he at the same time? Yes. Okay. Was so no, but was he okay? Was he God or man? Both. Well, no, 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 no. Was he God or man? No, no, no. Was he God or man? You're asking a question. I'm answering. Do you, how do you want yeah. me to answer? No, I want you to answer. Was he God or man? And you're saying both. But that's not the answer I want. It can be both. So, so there, Why can't it be both? Now? So, so therefore, so when you ask when, when you ask me a question, you should allow me to no, answer. So, I ask you. Is it I'm, corrupt? You said yes. yes it's, it's corrupt. And now I'm saying, did Allah confirm a corrupted book? No. Allah's confirming what the Christian. Jews and the Christians had with them, yes. which is still correct. So I'm going to explain to you. Okay. As, so, but you're, you're, you're running away from my. I'm, I'm, I'm not running away. You're, you're preventing me from. I'm, I'm not. Trust me. Trust me. Just trust me. Trust me. Joshua. What I want you to what, say what, is, what, Allah I, I think. I, I, I think on this. I think on this. We've been talking about this for four or five minutes yeah. on just on this subject. Yeah. But all, all and, I want you to say is in, Allah in confirmed that, the corrupted. And in two minutes, I can give you the answer. But you're running away from me. And I will give you the answer. Then I will provide you evidence yes. from the Quran, yes. from the Sunnah, you know and, 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 from, and from the Bible I did to answer you your question. But yeah. I did stop you. Yeah. Right. I stopped yeah. you because uh -huh. you're talking about today. I'm talking about then. No, I'm talking about then as well. I'm talking but, about but then. You in today. That's quite. I'm, to talking, right now. I'm talking about. I'm talking about then. Yeah. I'm talking about then. Okay. So now I'm talking this, about this today thing. and then. No, but I'm not asking that. Yeah. That's fine, but I'm, but I'm telling no, but I'm you. I'm not asking that. I asked you to answer my question, and you're answering the question I didn't ask. Oh, oh, I'm asking this. What do you have? What do they have? What would you have? What would you have? You've asked your question. Yes. Now, Please, I'm begging. Now, answer. Let me answer I'm begging. how I understand it and how okay, I what do you understand first so I can refine it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say to you. What but you mean? seem to keep stopping me. Because I want you to answer the question. I'm going to answer the question, but it's not a yes or no. Yes. Because it's both. It's yes and no. Okay. As Muslims, we believe that uh, Jesus received revelation, the Injil, not the 27 books of the Bible. Why are we going there? Because that's what the subject is. That's, let me finish. The 27 books of the Bible were all written after Jesus was taken up. Yes. Okay. But we believe Jesus was given revelation. We believe Moses 
was given revelation, yes. but not the five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and, and uh, Deuteronomy now. And I can show you from the Bible why this is the case. Okay. But we believe in this, there is some elements of truth. Okay, so, so, so we use the Quran and the Sunnah to judge which is correct from it. So the, the Quran and the Sunnah will confirm from what the Jews and the Christians have what is correct and it will also show them what is wrong. That's my point. Shall we leave it here due to the weather or you want to make a... Joshua, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we're here every Saturday. Thank you for a respectful conversation. No problem. I really enjoyed it. It was beneficial. May Allah guide us, open our hearts. Thank you very much. Okay.